Bath time is a chance for you and your baby to have fun, play, interact and bond. A bath twice a week is plenty to keep your baby clean. You can top and tail on the days you're not bathing. You can bath your baby in the main bath or in the sink or in their own small baby bath. When bathing your baby, get the room ready and warm before you start. Babies can get cold quickly. Close the windows to prevent a draft. Gather everything you need before you start the bath. Towels, cotton wool, clean nappy and clothes. Because once you start, you never leave your baby unattended, even for a second. Put the cold water in the basin or bath first, then put the warm water in. Finally, put cold water in again to make sure the taps are cool and will not burn your baby. Fill the basin, bath or sink until it has 8 centimeters to 10 centimeters or so of water in it. The water should be just high enough to cover your baby's tummy. Make sure the bath water is the right temperature, about 36 degrees. Always check the temperature of the bath water with your elbow. Your hands are not sensitive enough. Mix the water well to ensure there are no hot spots. Undress your baby leaving their nappy on. Wrap them in a towel. Hold your baby's head over the basin and wash their hair with water. Do not use any soap, shampoo or products when they're very young. Wipe gently around your baby's eyes from inner eye outwards. Use a fresh piece of cotton wool for each eye so you don't transfer any stickiness or infection. Wash the rest of your baby's face and neck in the same way and dry them gently with a towel. Lie the baby down, drying their hair and face fully. Remove their nappy. Lift your baby into the water with one arm behind their shoulders and neck, holding their outside arm with your hand. Place your other hand under their bottom. Lower your baby slowly into the bath so they do not feel as though they are falling. When their bottom is resting on the floor, you can free that hand to wash them. Use your other hand to keep your baby's head out of the water. Wash the baby gently and allow them to enjoy the water for a few minutes. After you've bathed them, slip your free arm back under their bottom. Hold their legs with the arm as they will be slippery and lift them out onto a towel. Pat them dry and do not forget their skin folds and creases. These areas can get sore if not dried well. Babies under the age of one are at the greatest risk of drowning in the bath. Drowning can happen very quickly without any noise. It can happen in a very small amount of water. You do not need to bath your baby daily. You do need to clean their eyes, cord and privates twice daily or more if required. To clean their eyes, use cool boiled water and cotton wool. Wipe gently from inner eye outwards. Use a fresh piece of cotton wool for each eye so you don't transfer any stickiness or infection. Baby's tear ducts are very underdeveloped, so daily cleaning is essential. The cord is clamped at birth and you clean the cord with cotton wool and water and pat dry. The stump is dead and it doesn't hurt the baby. It will fall off between 7 to 14 days. If you are concerned about offensive smell or ooze from the site, please see your GP. At every nappy change, the baby's genitals should be cleaned and dried. For baby girls, clean from front to back to not introduce stool to the vagina. For little boys, ensure you clean under the penis and scrotum. Don't push back the foreskin. Remember to point the penis down into the nappy. Clean baby's bum with cool boiled water and pat dry with cotton wool. Meconium is passed by the baby for the first day or so and is like black tar. The next stage is green poo for another day or two, which changes to yellow seedy poo. Young babies may need changing 10 to 12 times a day. Nappy free time is a lovely opportunity for your baby to have air circulate and help prevent nappy rash.